Boo. Hey. Stop! Blam, 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 blam. Sorry, my mind was blowing. Blam, 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 blam. Totally understand. Scared me there. I just say. Hey, I just figured it out. He's the wicker man. Little early for that kind of speculation. So what is a wicker man anyway? Give me your driver's license and registration. Okay, maybe he's the wicker man. You don't even know what the wicker man I is. Stop, stop, stop guessing. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. Well, ma'am, it's illegal to have a roadside fire without a permit. <laughs> this week on the Wicker Man with special guests Ephraim Zimbalis Jr., James Lawton, and Sharon Glass. Tonight's episode: Highway to Hell. I didn't want to hurt you any more than I did. How come I never get any of those self-reading no, letters? I live on Summers Island. You stop reading, place but the letter continues sound. to read itself. Doubt you've heard of it. Read it. Oh, and do it in that funny Borat voice that makes me laugh so much. Hey, it's his dear, dear friend. Hey, uh, what's her name? Yeah. Summers Isle? Where the hell is that? Yeah. It's not too far from Summer Eve. Fun. Summers Isle. Oh, Pete, my creepy, creepy friend. Wow. Hey, Pete, it's me. Hey, I'm, I'm glad I got your machine, because uh, you'll probably laugh at me, but... Hello? Even Pete's machine Hello? hangs up on it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I bet he meets the Wicker Man right here. And the Wicker Man will be all wickery, and he'll have, like, a huge knife made out of wicker. Wicker clothes. Uh, I don't know what you're supposed to say. And I'll just go with hello. Right. Hello. Ask if he's the Wicker Man. Would you... Uh, you know anything about a place called Summer's Isle? Yes, I do. In fact, I make most of the deliveries around there. Deliveries, huh? Yep, just about every day. That's what I'm doing now. What would I have to do to catch a ride with you? I don't know. I don't care. This was originally called folks, Bicker Man. It was about this guy. All right, well, then just drop me down on the beach or whatever they have out there, and I'll walk or in Or Liquor town. Man, and it's about this guy's business know. dropping off cases Gosh, of Avenger Canadians from Rhode Island. Like now you're on to something. You better stop. Yeah. I know yeah, Slicker so Man about this guy's obsessive need to wear one of those yellow raincoats at all times. I'd be shocked if it didn't turn out to be exactly that. How about you take all of us there? Pepperidge Farm, remember? Yeah, yeah, you already told me that a dozen times. Looks like there's a nor'easter coming in. Yeah, you said that too, you old buzzard. Lost your bearings? Oh, hey. Sorry. Snuck up on me there. In a cloddish sort of way. Uh, what's in the bag? A shark or something? <laughs> it's always a good first guess when you see something <laughs> wriggling in a bag. A shark. <laughs> Go on. Take a peek. Don't get too close, because great whites have very sharp teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost as funny as the other time a fella almost looked in a bag but didn't. <laughs> ah, good times. Yeah. She'll show you upstairs. In the meantime, I gotta drain the snake. I think you ought to know. That was the worst thing I've tasted since my sister's baby threw up in my mouth. Meet me there in an hour. When this note is done Edward, reading itself, destroy it, the memory card that stores the sound that file, and the tiny speakers embedded in the paper, oh then recycle its lithium-ion battery. Face it. Why do we do anything in this life? Usually because we're drunk. I was scared and... And so I slept with your best friend, like, a lot. Looks like no rest for the wickered. The pills may help him sleep, but they'll never take away the pain of Captain Corelli's mandolin. Or your no rest for the wickered pun, Mike. You chased a hallucination of mine and had it end well. Not even the time you followed Count Chocula into the woman's sauna at the retirement home? Oh, especially not that time. With the power of the magical cape, I become the Wicker Man. Or not. Phallic symbol, phallic symbol. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Really... I'm a policeman. See my badge? It's plastic. I was... Oh, yeah. Bunch of bitchy women, organic food, no TV. Oh, sign me up for that. Well... You don't understand. Kevin, you turned into a That's stand exactly comedian right. I do circa not 1987. But Thank I'm going you, to isn't it? Mailers. Look, let's just end the scene. It's not going anywhere. Neither of us knows what it means. Just just forget it. No, come on. We can still make something of it. No, no, it's over. Well, maybe if you could get all the way through a line? It, no, not possible. Just, just It's not much on, now. Just drop, no. Locks are strange, unlike mittens, which are not square. Are you an onion? No, I don't know. I do not know that our daughter is going to be OK. Wow, no one could have seen that coming unless they were actually watching the movie. This changes everything because before he was looking for Rowan, and now he's probably going to continue looking for Rowan. It's just the dramatic hand grenade thrown into the middle of this film.
Wait, yeah. wait. Asking specific questions, going to the scene. Don't you think She's Wanda will aimlessly in the woods is the way to get to the bottom of this? I don't know. I like his chances if he sits in the decrepit churchyard with Miss Guppy swim. face there and lets her choke out like, half-finished like sentences. Ah, it's a good thing he wore his running suit. Of a running sport coat and slacks. Well, that'd be his running tie. See, that is a versatile suit. Sport coat and slacks, really. God damn it! Why didn't I turn down wind talkers? So crisp, sharp, I'm really impressed by that suit. Sport coat and slacks, really. Why are they dressed up as sniffins? <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2 is this year's demon pageant theme. Okay. Worst harvest on record. Worst harvest ever. I don't know how, how these two originally starters? got together. Our Did he find her wandering through the produce aisle trying now to force an acorn squash her, so into her left ear? Yeah. Then he asked her, do you need help with something? And she it's looked at him with those big have. liquid eyes and said, what? You live and that was it. They just fell hopelessly in love. And stayed in love. Even through that time when she got her head caught in the sewer grate. It's a beautiful story. Incredible. You can swim, ride a bike, even haul lumber in that suit. Actually, sport coat and slacks. So it's still looking good. Sport coat and slacks. And now he's rolling through poison ivy. Right into a patch of stinging nettles. <laughs> now a stingray leaps up and pierces his heart. Now he trips over a nest of black mammas. Which we're preparing to attack that storm of scorpions next to the You are alive. That's what's important. All that fuss between your legs was just for show. Looks like they had his suit sponged and pressed. Sport coat and slacks, Kevin. It looks like hell, but the suit looks Sport great. coat and slacks. The strongest, the finest, the most sturdy of our kind. Yeah, I compliment my wife by I calling see. her sturdy. Doesn't she go knows. over very well. Right? No. And what if Honey, someone just happens to have sturdy a sturdy tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to call you Sister Summer's Eve because you're a total douche. <laughs> Why oh, zinged her? Did you hear that? You guys, huh? Did you hear how I zinged her, huh? Even after digging up a coffin, the suit still looks fresh. It's a sport coat and slacks. Okay, now, even I have to admit that that suit is showing some way. Sport coat and slacks. Swimming in a liquid that's at least 90% Sister Beach runoff. All right, that's it then. I will never eat again. Thank you. I'd say that he's been outsmarted at every turn, but that would be smuggling the word smart into the description, and that's just not right. Oh, I hate it when your platonic woman friend turns out to be bees. How to get burned. How to get burned? I, how to get burned? How to get burned? I don't know. Well, at least where are you going? Back to her place. The honey of an oak, honey of Cheerios. I'll just bet summer wind here turns out to be a giant bee or an ant or something. Well, sir, your only two choices: bee or ant. Yeah, I've narrowed it down. Yeah, I've been thinking this whole time, not just slacking off, Kevin. I don't know. The suit still looks okay. Sport go. Forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> well, the never strike a woman rule remains unviolated at being Sister Beach and all. God! Ugh. Lovely. Ah, Neil LeBute spreading his gospel of sexual hatred throughout the land. Academy Award winner Ellen Burstyn, folks, looking like a cross between Mother Nature and Braveheart. What is it? What's wrong, sister? Taste my honey. Don't be frightened. You know, he'll never have a better excuse to poop in the woods. I know what's gonna you happen. Bet this is a flashback to my freshman year on the wrestling team. Sister Beach there is gonna strip down to her jock strap, make him do a power sit up, no, then she's gonna lay me. the old meat and veg right oh, on his. All right, all right, that's nothing. quite enough of that. God. I wonder if Peg and God was even listening when they were asking for instructions. Should we uh, kidnap an innocent and shatter his patella with a clown no, hammer, oh great one? What's that? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Kind of busy right now. Just gonna make some head cheese here. Not the bees! Ah! It's really a hell of a lot easier to take if Joe bees! Rogan was there urging bees! him on. Ah! <laughs> Boom! Oh! Ah! Stop this crazy thing! And the movie simply dies. Thank you. <laughs> dedicated to Johnny Ramone. <laughs> yes, lovingly dedicated to Johnny Ramone, and this is where we get off, everyone. Thanks for watching with us, folks. And remember, hate and fear anyone who is not you. <laughs>